Hey, welcome to my tutorial on binary numbers. So the first thing um, we need are some examples of binary numbers. So let me write down some binary numbers. So here we have four binary numbers, and they don't represent 1, 100, 110, and 111. No, they actually represent 1, 4, 6, and 7. So these are binary numbers. And these ones in blue are what we call natural numbers or counting numbers. So in order to understand this relationship between binary numbers and our natural counting numbers, first we must look at um, the f natural numbers, the formal definition of natural or counting numbers. So let's write natural counting numbers. Okay. So natural or counting numbers are written uh, formally, or described formally, as being a base 10 number system. So base 10, hmm, where do we see 10 in nature? And if we actually look at our hands, we can see and we count our fingers we end up with what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes we have ten fingers and that's actually why we use a base 10 number system now, now that we understand why we have a base 10 number system, let's describe what that base, what does base mean. Now, while we have 10 numbers, um, that actually means we have 10 defined symbols to represent things. And when I mean symbols, I mean 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 10 symbols here um, in base 10. It means we have 10 symbols. 10 symbols to count with. Because if you think about it, once we run out of these not, uh, 10 symbols, we have to start combining them. So once we jump from, you know, 9 to 10, we actually have to use two of these symbols. So in another way, another way you can think about this as the base describes how many symbols you can have before you have to add another one to keep counting upwards. So now let's move on to binary numbers. So binary numbers are used, uh, use a base two number system. And we could describe this in a similar fashion if we had two fingers. You know, we could count to two and, and a base two and a base two number system, we would only have two symbols. And instead of making up the new symbols to represent binary numbers, we simply use the first two symbols of the base 10 system. So in binary, we only have two symbols, zero and one. So if we wanted to count, say, um, from 1 to 2, 
we'd actually have to write one and we don't have any more symbols to count upwards so we actually have to move over so this would be one and this would be equal to two so to get a clearer example let's actually think back to the first grade when you first learned to count numbers so start out with natural or base 10 and let's count to 10 so we'll start out with 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 5 0 0 0 6 0 0 0 7 0 0 0 8 0 0 0 9 and finally we get to the last one 0 0 10 now one thing to note is that we ran out of symbols at 9 and we actually had to carry over and restart at 1 so let's move on to binary or base 2 um, and let's count to 10 in the same way so we'll start out with 0 0 0 0 we got 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one zero zero one uh one one zero one zero so if we wanted to relate that to uh the, the natural numbers this would be zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so in the next video we'll go over um, a formal way to define binary numbers an equation you can use to actually um, calculate binary numbers but in this video I wanted to give you an intuitive feel for what a binary number is how to count with them and uh, just an overview.